Today, we're going to review Ice Cream Screen Recorder Pro. Now, to start this off, I think Ice Cream is probably one of the best screen recorders on the market, but it does have some cons, and I will get into that. First and foremost, let's talk about some of the features. One, you can capture audio if you just want to record like an MP3 WAV file. Very easy. Very simple to do. You can take screenshots very easily. For example, I want to just take this little logo right here. There you go. I got a screenshot ready to go. Saved in my, uh, my um, file location. And let's check it out. Let's open it in photos. And there you have it. Great. Real quick to do, real easy. You can do game capture. Um, it's a nice feature, though I probably wouldn't use it. I'd probably use OBS for game capture because I can really push OBS to the specific settings I want. Uh, but the biggest thing it does is screen recording. And it really does work great at that. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to move this over to the other window and start it. Uh, well, actually, I don't have to. What am I doing? I can do a custom area screen record right here to right here as an example. Right there. Boom. So I'm only going to record what's inside the box. And uh, let me show you a few things you can do with it. Scroll up and down. I can draw on a recording, like I said. Let's put an arrow to over here. Let's put a line over here. Let's put a box over here. Let's um, move the arrow over here. And let's clear all. Stop. Spell that wrong. Close the recorder. Now I'm recording AVI right now because I was doing some tests earlier, but. It records your voice and everything. I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic. That's great for tutorials. Um, but there is one, well, actually two key problems I have found with Screen Recorder Pro as it stands right now, which are deal breakers for some people. Um, yeah. So first and foremost, when I do a recording, if I do a recording and I just record straight through, I don't use this pause button the audio will stay in sync however every time i pause there's a small desync of audio so if i pause about four or five times maybe six times i'm one second behind and it progressively gets worse over time every time i use this pause feature i think the developer is using a dynamic frame rate and i think it would help immensely if they put uh, an option maybe in the config file or the settings panel to uh, allow a person to force set a, a locked frame rate. So it doesn't try to keep files small. It'll just record at whatever frame rate you set and won't deviate. I think that would help out immensely. That's one huge problem. So this pause feature right now for someone doing tutorials, especially if you're trying to voice it on demand like I'm doing right now, it's useless. It, and that's unfortunate. Now, if you're just recording video segments and using the pause feature, that's fine. That works for that, no problem. But once you start adding audio to the mix, you start getting desyncing. And uh, I'm not a fan of that. The second big problem that this program has right now is as follows. If you're using something like um, Adobe Premiere CS6, you're gonna have a lot of issues with this program. Uh, my advice to you is if you're using something like Adobe Premiere CS6, you're going to have to take whatever files you get and convert them with Handbrake. Um, because when I try to drag in AVIs, which is one of the formats you can save as, I get only audio, no video. When I try to drag in an MP4, I get only video, no audio. So uh, yeah, that's a big problem. However, when I use something like Handbrake to convert the file again, like convert the MP4 back to MP4 again, Handbrake resyncs it all and fixes the problem. 
So you can make do with what you, you know, what the little issues, but you're gonna have that extra step. Uh, I hope the developer sees this or knows about it and can fix it. Because if they can fix the pause issue and the um, file information issue, so that it just works when I throw it into something like CS6, uh, I would hands down say this is the best screen recorder there is. But right now, I'm kind of leaning on the side of it's the best screen recorder if you don't mind not pausing and um, you don't mind converting the file. As long as those two things are fine with you, uh, it's the best. Otherwise, uh, Camtasia is still a bit more reliable than this in terms of I can just record and uh, I won't have any big issues. But... Yeah, guys, I wanted to show this program off, show you that this has the capability to be one of the most useful programs you'll ever download for tutorials and screen recording. Um, but it's just not quite there yet. I know some people swear it and love it, but I'm very picky with this stuff. And uh, the inability to pause without losing sync and video and the inability without being able to take... The inability to, to drag a video file right into Premiere, those are big issues. So I would give this program a, a 7 for mostly just doing visual recording and having to convert. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always, if you like this video and you want more like it, do us a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. Thanks for watching.